Today we're talking about bags. So today uh, I wanted to talk about what is in my bag. I'm pretty excited about this bag. Um, this is the Waterfield Messenger Bag. It's actually the wire cutter recommended messenger bag. Now I know not everyone likes messenger bags. A lot of people prefer backpacks. So I also have a backpack recommendation for you guys as well. Um, I love this messenger bag though. It is fantastic. Uh, it is really well made. I am a sucker for good bags. It is a big bag. It's meant to hold a 15 inch laptop, obviously. If you guys have seen my videos before, I don't use a 15 inch laptop. I work off my iPad every day, but I do carry a lot of stuff with me. Um, and I'll show you guys just in a minute here. I wanted a big bag to fit all that stuff in. So this is a perfect bag for me. I also have another messenger bag recommendation. I actually, unfortunately, I just gave it away um, to somebody that needed the bag and it was perfect for them. So I gave it to them, but I will put the Amazon stuff right here. So uh, you can kind of see this bag. It's a lot smaller. It fit my 12.9 inch iPad Pro perfectly. So obviously it'll fit the smaller ones fine. It was a great bag if you just carry around an iPad and some cables and things like that. So um, if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, that is a great messenger bag as well. Um, but if you're looking for a bigger messenger bag, the Waterfield one is a fantastic bag. I absolutely love this bag. And then my backpack recommendation is the Herschel Supply backpack, just the regular laptop one, nothing too special. I just have the black one. It's got this kind of tan leather bottom and this red pinstripe uh, inside. It's really nice. It's a really great backpack pack it fit everything i needed it was important i just really like i'm a sucker for a messenger bag for some reason so that's a good one so let's let's get into this waterfield messenger bag so first up um it doesn't have any like back pockets or like front pockets on like the flat part of the messenger like a lot of messenger bags do um but it has these two really nice leather straps you open it up there's this front pocket right here. Now this is just one big pocket, but on this side, there's kind of this smaller uh, mesh pocket, uh, kind of cloth in there. And in here I keep my AirPods, because these things are important, with a Relay FM sticker on them, and uh, a microfiber cloth. Um, one thing I didn't talk about on the flap itself is I have these enamel pens, and this is something I was just trying out, but I ended up really liking them from some of my favorite podcasts and stuff like that. Um, I'm definitely going to order more. I think my goal is to kind of fill up this whole area. It's just something to kind of accessorize and make it your own. It's kind of like why I like putting stickers and stuff on my stuff. I know a lot of people don't, but to me, it kind of makes it your own. So this right here is just one big pocket. So you can kind of see it's, it's, hello. Um, one big pocket, you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Um, I have this right here, my uh, external battery pack. This is from Anchor. Came in a nice little case. Just has, it has two USB ports and then the charging USB port. Has this little button on the side so you can see how full it is and stuff like that. This is great, it's like 20,000 milliamps. It's a huge battery, it works great for everything. Um, also in here, I keep my glasses case. So I have uh, reading glasses because, hey, I'm getting older and, you know, getting old sucks. But, uh, yeah, you, you need reading glasses. So keep those. And then also, I am type 1 diabetic. So I keep these little glucose tablets. So in case my blood sugar ever goes low, I just pop these in and, and eat, you know, chew a few of these and they're good to go. That's pretty much it for this main pocket. I try not to put too much stuff in there because then it gets hard to figure out what's what when you just want to reach in there really quickly and, and grab some stuff. Um, so let's take a look at the main compartment now. You can kind of see it holds a lot of stuff. Um, iPad and all that stuff is in here. Uh, we'll kind of go through this. So first up, this right here, it's uh, like I said, I'm type one diabetic. It's just a diabetes testing kit, change, test your numbers. Nothing too special. Um, I keep a field notes notepad and uh, a fountain pen. It's the Retro 51 Tornado. I'll make sure I link to all the stuff I talk about in the description below, so it'll be down there. Notepad. This is the notepad uh, from Studio Neat. This paper in here, I'm, I'm just a sucker for nice like notepads and stuff, just like nice bags. It's really nice paper. I like using these kind of notepads right here for editing notes. So when I'm editing videos, um, I write down all the notes and stuff for my videos so I can just kind of keep working on it and uh, uh, you know, take notes. This right here, um, I don't always take this with me, but it's my Nintendo Switch. 
This is just the official Nintendo Switch carrying case, plus the Switch itself. You can kind of see. I like the red and blue Joy-Cons. I thought those were the nicest. I even put stickers on it, no surprise there. I know not everybody likes stickers, but it just kind of makes it feel like your own. And plus, it's, these are my projects and stuff like that. Uh, game cases and stuff like that. That's pretty much it that's in here. Sometimes if I'm going on a long trip, I will put the Pro Controller in my bag as well. Because um, I have really big hands and the uh, Joy-Cons, they're too small for me to use for long periods of time. You know, if I'm playing for just a little while, like a, like a single Mario Kart race or something like that, it's fine. But after a while, it really starts to hurt my hands because my hands are too big and those are too small. So uh, the Pro Controller is a big deal. This right here is my cable bag. Um, you can kind of see, we'll go into it a little more here, but uh, you can see I have a ton of cables in here. I got this off Amazon. I don't remember the name, but I will put a link to it, just like everything, of course, in the description below. Um, so let's kind of go into it a little bit. So uh, first off, it's all pretty standard cables in this pocket. Um, this right here is probably the most interesting thing. This is just a USB-C hub, a lot like the Kingston one I use at my desk. Pretty standard, it's got two USB-A ports, SD card, micro SD card, USB-C, HDMI, um, USB-C end. Uh, I use the Kingston one at my desk because it has two USB-C ports so I could both charge and then plug in the headphone jack adapter to it. So that's, that's why I use that one there and then this one goes put in my travel bag. Um, this right here is the USB-A to uh, micro or mini USB. Uh, I always forget which one's which, but this is just so I can charge my external battery. Um, pretty important to have, because uh, if you can't charge an external battery, what good is an external battery to you? USB-A to USB-C cable, just so I could charge either my Switch or my iPad Pro off of my external battery pack or something I will show you guys in just a bit. This right here is probably the most important cable for anybody that has the new iPad Pros. This is the two meter USB-C to USB-C cable. This way, uh, if I'm not sitting directly next to an outlet, this cable can probably reach an outlet. That's really nice to have. I mean, most of the time my iPad Pro, the battery lasts all day, it's really good, but uh, you know, every once in a while I'm doing heavy video editing or something and I really need to charge it. Uh, this right here is USB-C to lightning, so I can either charge my iPhone or uh, AirPods from my iPad or um, using the fast charging brick. I will show you guys in just a second. USB-A to lightning cable. I don't think that needs any explanation at all. Um, this pocket right here is just some standard like flash drives and other stuff. Um, this right here is the refills for my Retro 51 Tornado pen. Looks like I need to order some more soon. This one right here, this pocket, nothing too special. Again, um, headphones. Uh, with USB-C and lightning uh, uh, headphone jack adapters. This pocket right here, this is the 30 watt USB-C uh, plug from Apple. Uh, this is for fast charging the iPad Pros and the uh, iPhone. Pretty nice to have. I really like this, definitely worth the money. Especially if you have the 12.9 inch iPad Pro because of how much slower that thing charges. Uh, this right here is the Anchor 5-port USB-A charging hub brick thing. What's nice about this is if I travel or if I have to stay in a hotel room, this will charge every single one of my devices. iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, AirPods, external battery pack. Like, it'll charge everything I need. Um, this is incredibly handy to have. And then this is just the cable for it. Um, you might have noticed I put all of my cables in these Velcro straps. That's just to kind of keep them a little bit nicer and neater when they're, you know, put away. And then I can unwrap them, use them, and then wrap them back up. So they kind of stay a little more tidy that way. In this pocket right here, just a, another notebook. I like ha having notebooks with me. I may not use them all the time, but uh, when I do use them, they're really handy to have. So uh, I, I like that. So that's pretty much my cable bag. And then the PS3 is the stance. My iPad Pro, 12.9 uh, inch new iPad Pro. I love this thing, it's the greatest iPad computer, whatever you wanna call it, I've ever owned. I love this computer so much. It is my favorite, favorite device. I edit all my videos, I edit my podcast, I edit everything on it. 
I love my iPad. It's it's great. So that's kind of it. That's the stuff that's in my bag. That's like my typical everyday stuff. A lot of times I'll put some more film gear or stuff like that in there. If you're interested in a really nice messenger bag, I know it's not the cheapest bag ever. Um, it's not cheap at all, but I highly recommend this Waterfield messenger bag. It's just, it's so nice. It's got this canvas material that just feels good. It's got leather straps. Um, I really like it. It's a great bag. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.